dear Alberta. This familiar waypoint on the QE2 between Edmonton and Calgary is now home to over 100,000 people. And like so many places in Alberta, it is growing. Growth means more families, which means more students requiring more schools. For several years, we've had a new high school and a new school in Black Falls on our capital plan. We're very excited to see that St. Joseph's was approved, and then about six months later, um, St. Gregory's the Great was approved, uh, opening for September 2017, ready to be filled with kids. We thought we were just gonna build the traditional method, design, bid, build, construction method, and so we started down that road, and we felt that uh, budget constraints would be a big issue, and that's what really kind of motivated us, saying there's gotta be a different way. We were all settled in on uh, St. Joseph High School for a traditional process. And I was working on the design in the schematic design format and Craig, our fearless leader, he said, why don't we do IPD? And I said, what? <laughs> IPD stands for Integrated Project Delivery. The IPD approach aims to put the right people in the room at the right time. The early engagement of trade partners with the design, owner, and contractor team provides the opportunity for a much deeper level of collaboration than the traditional project delivery. The IPD contract also aligns the business interests of the companies involved through risk reward sharing. If the project is delivered ahead of schedule and or under budget, everyone stands to profit on the requisite savings. The reverse of this is also true. This approach naturally incentivizes efficiency and effectiveness. Typically, as designers, we are separated from a lot of other aspects of the full industry, so to speak. So within those separations come a lot of gaps where information doesn't flow. Initially, it was in a meeting with myself and the owner, Ken Yeager, and Craig. We were talking about IPD, and he was trying to explain the process where we all get together in a room and we design, plan, and construct this thing together. So, of course, I thought he was crazy. I wouldn't want the mechanical and the electrical contractor telling me how I was going to design the building. IPD basically is a it's a it's a format that allows us to have lean construction and design and really it's a contract that puts all of your key team players whoever you deem to be sort of necessary on that list onto one contract that you put your profits at risk and you then design a building to a budget and it aligns the whole team. So it's basically a virtual organization and what's best for the project and creating a strong culture. And the IPD piece has become a key strategic measure for our company this year and that's awesome. Like that's a huge change for us. In early 2015, Shandos Construction completed the first integrated project delivery building in Alberta, Edmonton's Mosaic Center for Conscious Community and Commerce. While there was a lot of skepticism at the outset, the project ultimately came in under budget and ahead of schedule. In my mind, Mosaic was successful because of leadership. The owner in particular, Dennis Cuckoo, was a big part of the success of that project. And then the team worked together very hard um, early on in the process to make sure that we got the right people on the bus. There's something that Shandos has learned in all of our IPD projects, and I think we have something like 14 of them on the go now at various stages, is that it's all about respect for people and continuous improvement. And I think the respect for people piece comes in um, by early engagement of the project participants and giving them the opportunity to influence the design. Continuous improvement, I think a good way of explaining that in the Canadian construction industry is making reliable commitments to each other as a project team. It's not just between the designers and the general contractor or the general contractor and trade partners. It's just as important trade partner to trade partner. And that really gets at that whole concept of plan percent complete, where if you said, I'm going to complete 10 items this week on a project and you've got seven of them done, that's a 70% plan percent complete. And the opportunity is to take that from 70% to say 80%. And there's a direct correlation um, to bottom line dollar savings, as well as productivity gains and savings on labor. The approval process has uh, finally approved our RFP. So officially, 
afternoon can begin. <laughs> These big room meetings are an instrumental part of the IPD collaboration. It's an opportunity for all of the major stakeholders in the project, from the owner to the general contractor, the architects and designers, the individual building trades, to get together in the same room once a week and discuss both how their individual trades are performing and how the project is coming along as a whole. It's a shift in approach that has already yielded beneficial results. One of the lessons learned from the big room uh, is just around glass and how the ordering of glass works. Typically, we don't even think about how we're going to order a piece of glass. So we would, you know, just create a window size, and we've got a window size that's uh, 64 and a quarter by 64 and a quarter, and we would order that, and that that's what we would put into our design. Uh, what we found out through this process, because we have a better understanding of how the supply chain management works, it would actually come 66 inches by 66 inches, and it would produce a whole bunch of waste that is within the glass, and that's just built in. Plus, so you need to pay for the transportation of that glass, it comes at a higher cost, you need to pay somebody to cut those pieces off, you need to pay to recycle those waste pieces of glass, all to get down to our window size. You know, and by, by optimizing our windows to direct, or direct kind of uh, dimensions like that, this actually translates to about a six to seven percent decrease in materials alone. By working in concert together, we're able to identify those areas, develop strategies to take the waste out and get the waste out and get better value to the owner. It really comes down to the people on the team and how those people work together. There's a lot of crucial conversations that need to occur and that's the secret to making these things successful. It, it's not the technical piece, it's the, it's the interaction between the team members. I was skeptical, I was cynical about coming into the process, maybe giving up control, but I'm a complete convert now, so. Being in the big room every day, you get to know everybody, and you start to develop a rhythm of working and how you're making your decisions, and it all starts to, get to come together in its own culture. Ken, the owner, doesn't feel like he has to be present for every single decision because now we're all sort of carrying the torch through that understanding of our values and through the development of our culture. Like the Mosaic project before it, there has been a bit of a learning curve for the parties involved in the design and construction of these two new schools in Red Deer. But also like the Mosaic project, it's clear that the stakeholders are buying in and that they're excited to try a new approach. our design on project-based learning, um, collaboration, and I think IPD uh, is, a, is a perfect example of collaboration success. People are invested in delivering this project. It's not just another project, this is our project. And as an example, we had the sod turning yesterday for this project, and, and we had most of our trade partners were out at the sod turning. I've never seen that happen in, in 20 years in the industry. I think the Red Deer schools are significant in the Canadian construction industry because they represent some of the very first publicly funded IPD projects, not just in Canada, not just in Alberta, but in North America. And the entire market in North America uh, stood up and took, took notice of that. And I think the Red Deer schools can stand as a beacon of hope in terms of using IPD successfully on mainstream projects. And um, I think the success that we're already having on the schools uh, will very much help uh, get this to the next level in the industry.